Hi, my name is Melvin Isaac. I'm a professional artist and a community producer for Brick. Today, I want to share two significant events to you. The first one will be at the First Baptist Church of White Plain, hearing the stories of Rising Hope Ministry Transformation, followed by my startup art business. Before we start, let me share something with you. Do not be confused to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good, acceptable, and perfect. Romans 2.12 The function of education is to teach one to think intensely and to think critically. Intelligent plus character that is the goal of true education, Dr. Martha Luther King. I'm pretty sure you just got something out of this because once you look at uh, the two events that I'm about to share with you, uh, you will see how uh, intelligent plus working with the grace of God can help you overcome anything and to change the world and to change people's lives into a most productive and uh, spiritual way of thinking. Thank you. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship. Rising Hope is actively committed to raising the quality of life for every person inside the human warehouses in the state of New York. Put the Department of Corrections out of business one mind at a time. Amen. And when these mentors, administrators, teachers, friends came in, they spoke life into our soul. She could get angry too, and I think that's what I remember really blowing my mind the most, seeing Sister Marion get angry at the injustice around her. But she didn't stay stuck in that anger. She channeled it to, into programs and into people like me to make a difference in our lives. The idea that someone would come in and accept me and all of us as we are is powerful. For the first time, I started thinking that I did not have to be defined by my past, but by who I could be today and who I could be in the future. And that's definitely what Sister Marion was to me. She didn't see us as our crimes. She saw us as what we could be. She only saw us as powerful, as making a difference in the world, as amazing people. And to have someone that believed in you in that way, in that place, well, you can imagine the difference that that made. So this program is bigger and more than even I think all of us realize. This is what has kept education in prison and it should be acknowledged as that kind of a program. I remember so clearly Sister Marion telling me, and anytime I hear something like this, I think of her. If they are talking bad about us, it means we are doing something right. There were many battles and unfair suspensions and lost gate clearances, 
and other obstacles put in her way, but she overcame them one by one to stand with us. What a reminder that it's not what happens to us, but how we respond to what happens to us. That is the key. Sister Marion taught us that as well. I was released in 2011. I preached my first sermon in this church. The title of that sermon, Can Any Good Thing Come Out of Prison? You see the evidence around you. I wanted to bring some hope. I wanted to bring light to other people. I wanted to share what was shared to me, shared with me. Because my, my saving grace is that I was saved. And so it would be remiss of me not to reach back and pull somebody else with me. Uh, I'm, def I'm one of the formerly incarcerated myself. I served 14 years in prison, New York State prison. <coughs> and it's within this community I found the strength to transform myself into a respectful, humble, and God-fearing man, the man my mother always wanted me to be. I, 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 I'm truly grateful for the Rise of Hope program. To stand here and to say that it shaped and molded would not be enough. To say that it made me a better person would not be enough. It was life-giving for me. Because I know what I looked like yesterday. I was so deep in the mud, the only thing that you could see was my eyeball sticking out. So it saved my life. So yeah, Rising Hope must continue. That's right. We must continue to, to, to level the playing field just a little bit by continuing to provide quality education and human services, spirituality and ministry to men and women behind bars in New York State. Jesus, you're the center of Simple things in life, you're the hope, my Lord. Melody and song. Oh, the voices of the children, Lord. My family and my home, you're the source of finish, Lord. Of oh, my high dream.
Melvin Isaac. I'm a professional artist and a community producer for Brick. I am so excited because I just received a letter from the New York Department of Labor Self-Employment Assistance Program, SEAP, uh, congratulating me that I've been accepted into the program to start owning my own business. Wow, that took a a sweat off of me because I always wanted to start my own art business. I've been doing art for years and years since I was uh, born. But this right here is like they said, one door open, another one, you know, or one door closed, another one open. So I'm very excited. I'm eager to start. And they gave me a bunch of things to do. One of them was, uh, is the first uh, find a mentor and a counselor and workshop. So the first thing I did is uh, looked into the uh, SCORE program and within the SCORE program they had everything there for me. So I said, oh boy, this is relief here. So I already started working with a mentor and a counselor and I already went to one of the workshops. So by talking to both of them, the uh, uh, the counselor, the last one, he actually directed me on what to do next. So that's why I'm here to talk to you now, because that way you'll know what I'm doing and uh, you can see changes that I'm doing to my Facebook account. Uh, and I got eBay now and uh, arthorizon.com and even my own website. So you're going to see changes there because this going to help me promote my business. So here's one of the things that uh, one of the counselors, it was very inspiring, uh, motivated, uh, intellectual. So what he told me to do first is, okay, he wanted to know, uh, did I have a product in mind that uh, to sell? I said, of course I got a product, you know. He said, well, what is the product? Because some people get involved and they don't have a product or they don't know what they're talking about and they end up falling. So he asked me what's my, I said, well, first of all, my product is art. I've been drawing and painting and teaching art for over 20 years and I've been born with this talent. He said, oh, sound like you really got to, I said, yes. So he said, okay, so what, what, what kind of art you, you want to sell? I said, well, I do portrait drawing. I have different types of art, but mainly I specify portrait drawing. So uh, and then I said, I also do like, you know, like animals, cats, and uh, dogs. So he said, okay, here's what you can start doing. So he's putting me on a mission now, and I'm, I'm like, got my ears all open. Okay, what I got to do? 
So the first thing he says that with the portrait, like if you're doing what kind of portraits? I said, what well, you know, start with baby portraits. So he said, okay. You take that portrait to a baby store, not a big one of the big companies, a small baby store, and you let them see what you're doing. And if they can get you a sale, you give them a commission, 10%, 20% off of that. The next thing you can do is go to a beauty parlor. Have one of your pictures that you have, and these things I'm gonna show you in a minute. Have one of the pictures, and you proposition them. You say, listen, uh, you can sell this painting here, I'll give you $50, end of story. The next thing is to uh, promote myself. You know, uh, they have a lot of places that uh, I can volunteer, donate some of my art, and that would get me in where, you know, people might see what you got and you just volunteer yourself to them and donate your art, where they just might have you do a show. And you, you, you know, you get promoted right there. So the next thing is that, uh, like I'll be explained that open up a, a change my Facebook, put everything as art that you started seeing now, uh, get an eBay account, and uh, my webs, my own website, change that around, and also the uh, art, uh, artisticrising.com. So this is just a focus thing. I'm very excited. As you can see, I just can't wait. And uh, these things gonna make me build, you know, my own uh, artistic potentials that I already have inside of me and start grabbing customers, you know, little by little, little by little, little by little. And um, I'm not, you know, it's one of the things that he told me to do is check out my competition. See what somebody else is doing out there and what they charge and their, and their product. So basically, I've been checking that out. You know, I found out people's doing basically the same thing I'm doing. Now, I'm looking at what they charge, and some of them's like, ooh, wow. So, no problem. So, my price is going to be much less. And it's, uh, the, the product is going to be absolutely beautiful. So, when you see it, you'll see for yourself. Okay, so that's enough of what I, uh, I'm doing. And uh, from this point on, I want to take you around to the art and my gallery, which is my place, and give you, you know, uh, some uh, sizes, the type of art, the uh, title, and the price. So that way, if you see something here, because once I start putting it out there, they're going to be grabbing it. And you already seen something, hey, get it. You know, also too, I'm doing cars too. So, uh, you know, I mean, it's the best time. It's a holiday for Martin Luther King. So, I have a lot of black art cards that I can actually I can put anything on the card. But you know, to, to see that, you know, you really say, "Wow, this guy is really amazing." You know. Okay, so here we go. I want to show you around, and then after that, I uh, will start working on my art now. If you got some comments that you see that uh, can help me uh, going towards building my business up, heck, I don't mind you commenting or advise me a suggestion that I should do this too, you know. I would definitely do it because I am ready. Like they said, this is my time now. Everybody have their own time. It's mine now. Who's saying that? Beyonce? Beyonce? Yeah, this is my time now. So everybody got their time. Opportunity is here and opportunity is here for me. Okay, this is a very beautiful abstract drawing. And you notice the uh, a lot of strong colors of red, orange, green, blue, gold. This is absolutely beautiful. And this is called African rituals. This one is called The Dancers. It is in pencil drawing, 16 by 20 on a Strathmore paper. And it's in a black map board. Here we have the past black leaders. 
and this is on a 8 by 11 strap more paper and it's in a black mat board and frame. Now we come into the Warriors and it's on a 16 by 20 tonsil drawing and colored tonsil as well and it's on a uh, a strap more paper and is in a map board and okay now we're looking at our African American Queens the size is 17 and a half by 21 and a half a pencil drawing and is on a map board and frame The next one is a African Queens, 17 and a half by 21 and a half, tonsil and color drawing, and this is in a map board and frame. Here we have our uh, communication drums, 17 and a half by 21 and a half, tonsil drawing, and this is in the map board and the frame. Here we have our crucifixion, uh, 21 and a half by 26 oil painting with a gold frame and now we have slaves from Africa and this is a 29 by 39 oil painting and so now we have our rap icon or the icon of the rap industry and this is on a 21 and a half by 30 and a half oil painting and in a black frame and this is called the turning youth around and this is uh, 20 by 26 color pencil with a frame. Now we have our clowns on a 20 by 16 watercolor with a frame. And this is, uh, okay, and then we have our Valentine gift. On a 17 and a half by 23 and a half oil painting okay just to give you a glimpse of what I'm working on with the uh, baby pictures and portraits uh, so now you can see I just started on this and I will be putting these up once I finish so you can see this is just a start and once it's finished it will be identical to this one right here Okay, now we are going to get into the, uh, as you see in the background, the dogs and cats. I'm zooming in on each one of them, so this way you can see it. See, I can go to a veterinarian with this once that's finished. And if someone likes a pet, there you go. Of your pet, not this one. And the same way would be about a dog. I just thought these are very nice pictures to do where it gives me a start. Now, I definitely gonna do my own and a celebrity and some more famous people. Well, you know, they're very famous. They're the president's wife <laughs> and the president himself. And now we come to the cars. These right here are on cars. See, and they have their own envelopes. Uh, yep. 
So, like I said, with these, uh, once I start to do the drawings, the regular drawings for pictures, like with dogs, uh, cats, and just baby pictures, like this one right here. So, get it while it's hot. Once I put it out there, if you want something, give me a picture. Picture got to be uh, in a reasonable size where I can actually see it, not something that's so far back where I can't even get the details. But you know, I have pictures like this that I blow up. And uh, once I got it, it's a wrap. Okay? So that's all it takes. And that's what I'm doing right now. So that way you can all see my steps of growing. I hope you enjoyed this show. Please come back and join us again. Thank you.